What is up, Zuper Channel? Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be another one of those episodes of joys of owning a Supra. Um, let's get right into it. I know I've been busy probably these past couple of weeks or episodes, and there's a little problem I haven't been wanting to address, but ever since we put this thing back together, we have a minor, oh, a minor, uh, a minor power steering leak. I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm a, I believe it's in the fitting in the bottom, or it could be there's this PHR um, canister or whatever, your, or a reservoir has an O-ring on the top and on the bottom. And I believe uh, Ryan from Pure Function had the same issue. It expands when it, on his wife's car, actually. It expands when it, when it cools off and it leaks out. So if you see down here, every time I wash the car, you have that power steering all over. You can see it down there in the pan. And it's just one of those little issues that we have to adjust. And uh, on the GS, I got the new version of, of the fitting here. This is obviously the old one with all the little holes that you could kind of adjust it however you want. And I never got rid of it, but I, I run that factory uh, coolant line that goes on here. And I know everybody bypasses it. I never did, but you know, I ordered it from PHR. I'm gonna get rid of it now. This, you bypass that whole uh, factory um, tubing that goes under the oil pan. Um, I actually bought that hose brand new back in the day probably like i want to say 10 years ago and it was like almost 400 dollars from toyota but it's been in there it's never leaked but i'm gonna clean it up and get rid of it now um it goes from so technically it bypasses from here straight to the rack from the high pressure side and then this one over here um i have it braided too or it's, it's braided is done but i order anyway it's uh that different material holes it's a uh, high pressure material and it's gonna go from the reservoir to the rack so i'm gonna change those two uh the little fitting those two lines and the o-rings on the canister hopefully uh i don't have to worry about with this power steering issue leak anymore uh here are the parts shout out to uh sam at phr got these out quickly to me this is the line that goes oh the line that goes out under the reservoir from the from the pump to the to the canister i told him to like uh measure it i mean send it out to me because before i think they just send you like a long piece of line and you kind of have to like you know make it at your own at your own length and i think it's mine is actually kinked somewhere so i actually got it done from the already with both fittings you have the 90 here that goes under the canister and the 45 that goes off the fitting this is the one that goes from the reservoir <clears throat> to the to the rack if you can see it's that high pressure material and this is the one that goes from the from the pump that bypasses that whole stock cooler thing um these are the two o-rings for the canister top and bottom and this is let's see here this is the newer version of the of the of the fitting that goes off the pump. As you can see, it's double o-ring. So, and this actually like swivels around. You can move it to whatever position you want to or have to. So, here it's a two-piece. This uh, you obviously you screw on the nut where which it goes, and then this little ear here kind of just holds it in place, and it still swivels around and just kind of locks it in place. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna put on the time lapse. Uh, show you guys, uh, yeah, pretty much show you guys how I installed it. And then if, if anybody has an issue, this will kind of help you. And uh, you, get, you know, this was your parts from uh, from Powerhouse. Uh, weather's not looking beautiful, so if you see any rain in the background, if you hear any uh, thundering, you know, typical South Florida. I'm out here. It's almost five in the afternoon, and I'm I'm almost sweating already. So. So yeah, let's get right to this and uh, actually see if we can finish fast enough because I think there's actually like a local meet going on and they've been blowing me up to a 10. So if we actually get it done in time, I might head out there even though it's raining, but it's in the corner of the house and I might just show up. Who knows? We'll see how the weather is when we're done. All right, guys, so you can see how hot it is. Just being down there, kind of just taking out the, the belly pan. You can see on this side, look at all the oil there. Obviously, you see the water coming down. I think that meat's gonna be a, a no-go. So I'm gonna put some degreaser on there. Then uh, I'll clean all that, all that grease, I mean, uh, ATF, whatever's on the power steering. So uh, I'm gonna get first, I'm gonna start on this line. Uh, by the looks of it, I might have to take off the charge pipe. I might just take it out just to have more clearance and not deal with too much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the line do the connection in the bottom before I uh, take out anything and start making a mess down there. Alright guys, you can see the charge pipe is out. Alright, let me take you under, show you guys the, 
the cooling line just in case nobody knows what it looks like it's actually this line right here that goes under the pan let's hold on with this this bolt right here and this bolt right here under the oil pan so technically all we're doing is this line right here goes to the pump and then go back to the rack so we're just doing a straight shot from the pump to the line and we're bypassing all this and we're, we're gonna get rid of the line uh, and then the other one there's already fitting on there but I'm gonna change that one anyway I want to make sure there's zero leaks and I have everything up to date getting ready to loosen up this line got my and then the pipe here for extra leverage Let's go. Okay. There it is. There comes the oil. I get the end of it so it doesn't make a mess. Come on, come on. There it is. All right, top side now. This has a little tight, so it'll be a little thing once. Let's see if I can get it right here. That's hard. Alright. So got that out. Well, you're still on the tripod, right? This is what the, what the line looks like. This is the side of the pump. Obviously on this side, I put that on in there, but I think like a vacuum port comes out of here. Helps it uh, go up and down when it detects vacuum and helps out with the power steering for the factory stu uh, stuff. I bypassed that and now we're finally getting rid of this. And this is the rack bottom and those are the bolts. So I guess maybe a little weight savings plus all right and then what are you gonna do with just uh just that fitting there pretty so simple that fitting that phr supplies and then the holes goes from here straight to the rack so let's do that and obviously the 45 goes on the pump this is where you're gonna end up with this here is here and then and that and I'm not sure what socket it is so let me go measure really quick yes. and here she doesn't scratch up anything Still tight, but you could kind of
Remember, it's, it's a bronze washer, so it has to. It's got. It's got to kind of. enough I think that's good enough so don't want to break anything I have the bad experience in the past of uh, overtiming stuff and taking it out so here I know it's not the best lighting let me get my phone here you can see they're fitting what it looks like the straight side goes down here so just to make sure I don't want this crossed up So it's on, just gotta tie it down. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So, as you can see, straight shot down here to the rack. And if you follow it back to the pump, right there, nice and snug. A lot cleaner than that big, uh, you know, factory lines that were there. So that cleans that up. Now we're gonna do the reservoir and do the other lines up there. All right guys, so here's the reservoir out. You can see this is the ray line I already had made. I are gonna swap off for that hard stuff now, high pressure, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then this one, it actually looked like it had a little kink here from the angle that I had here. And what looked like it was leaking was actually the fitting because the bottom of the can doesn't really look dirty, but we're gonna go ahead and change the, the O-rings anyway. If you can see here, I actually sealed this part. I think I put like JB Weld or something on the on this two-part feeding uh, fitting, just to uh, just to eliminate another you know leaking point. So we're gonna go ahead and take all this out. And we're gonna replace both of these lines and put it back together. Went ahead and changed both O-rings here. The bottom one was pretty was pretty bad. Top one was whatever. That one doesn't really see much much heat or whatever, much restriction or pressure. So we're both on there. Clean the filter. Clean this whole thing up. Um, Starting to put it back together now. This is the new holes. This is the old one. I mean, sorry, not the old one. This is the I want to go from the reservoir to the rack. <clears throat> this is the fitting which I already have. I don't need that. And I need the fitting that's on the other holes. It's a 90, and then this goes straight to the rack. And this side obviously. Straight to the rack. And then this one is already measured out. Obviously the 90 goes on the bottom of this and then the 45 goes on the end of the pump. And then since we're here already, might as well install this fitting here. This is the bolt that it comes with. We're not gonna be using that. We got a ARP, or ARP bolt here. To go along with that. Take away the washer shirts. Okay, so simple as this, this goes on there and it will swivel wherever you need it to. And all you need is this little piece here, just to keep it down. And remember the new design is actually doubled O-ring, so that makes it really nice. So I'm not gonna tie it down all the way completely, just so I can have enough you know, room here so I bolt it down and then we'll tie everything down. So, all right guys, little update here, it's dark. So I haven't really recorded much because you weren't going to see much, but got everything done. I'll get my phone is on there with the light, but went ahead and took advantage and just going to go go ahead and change the oil, put a new filter in there and stuff. Let me, uh, let me show you guys the, the lines and stuff, how they came up. All right, so, so you can see there, you have both lines from the reservoir and the pump. It's all connected, we don't have that ugly OEM coolant that's supposed to do nothing because I heard it's not really that effective. And then up here, see here the, the new fitting with the, the new line going down there. 
and up here in the reservoir it's the 90 and then the other 90 on there kind of looping around to the pump all right just wanted to show you guys i know the lighting sucks i'm really sorry I'm just pitch black and i have the car backwards so i don't have the lighting from the from the roof here all right guys late just finished topping it off with a uh, fresh oil topped off the power steering so uh let's go ahead and turn it on and then go from here guys she's all good i let her idle for about 10 minutes uh, move the steering around uh back and forth you know on, i'm sorry side to side topped off the power steering um check for any leaks everything looks fine thank god you know the worst thing is putting everything back together having an oil leak and having to take everything apart and go back to, to do something stupid like that so yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it it's not crazy knowledge is out there but you know at least it gives you an experience to see that even no matter how nice the super is whatever it is it still takes work and it still has maintenance to do to it so uh so yeah guys remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys